I suppose the thing that's um, most on our clients' minds at the moment is the changes that are going to happen with, first of all, the budget and then with the general election. I think the kind of the two themes that I'm seeing with clients at the moment is, first of all, income tax. What's going to happen to income tax rates? Um, I don't think too many of us know. It seems pretty clear there's going to be some help at the bottom end with the increase in the personal allowance. Will there be any help for the higher earners? The Lib Dems seem pretty set on blocking things at the moment. Um, will we see the 45% tax rate go? Will we see the 50% tax rate come back? I think a lot of those depend on really who the inhabitant is of uh, number 10 and, and that seems a fairly uncertain thing at the moment. And then the second issue that a lot of my clients are concerned about is pensions. It seems somewhat perverse that in a climate where we're all being encouraged to save for our retirement, uh, which seems to be a date that's being pushed further and further out, that actually there are now increased restrictions on people's ability to put money into pensions and whether we'll see further restrictions. Um, I think there's, th there are two camps, I suppose, people who think that the budget will be a pretty lame affair um, and that the real news will come obviously after the election and um, those who think that the budget could be pretty interesting. So it's a kind of watch this space. I think at the moment it's um, the climate um, and all the planning that you do is kind of viewed through the prism of this huge storm of tax avoidance debate and even what you know 10 years ago five years ago we looked at as pretty plain vanilla stuff I think a lot of clients now are worried about how that might come out and the reputational issues are vast you know no one wants to be the next person splashed on the front page of the papers. I think we'll see some pretty big changes potentially if, if we have a change of government. Uh, there was a leader in the Financial Times a few weeks ago that, that called for the abolition of the non-DOM regime and that would be a pretty seismic uh, event if that did take place. So I think, um, I think we are in for exciting times. I suppose the starting point is to see what assets they have and the, the extent to which they want to bring those to the UK and, and the extent to which we can manage down their tax rates and for some people it doesn't really make sense when you run the numbers and for others actually the way the rules are structured you can manage their rates down a really long way and with some careful planning and you know tiptoeing around a lot of very complex rules you know you can you can do your best for people but um, it, it's a really complex area and I don't think it's an area that's going to get any easier in the future. Um, I think we'll see more family office clients. Certainly um, my experience is that the wealthy are growing wealthier. Uh, they're looking to um, generate better returns from their investments and the perception is that you will get better returns if you set up your own family office because it's effectively a bespoke hub for your family. They tend to be smaller teams um, and in general the ones that, that manage their own money they do very well so I think we will see more, more family offices being set up.